Welcome to the Raw Milk Report, episode number two. The first video I made about this was in January of last year, January 2023. Uh, I filmed that video after I had consumed my first gallon. So that's been roughly 15 months ago. Now, shortly after I consumed that first gallon, I found a uh, very reliable and steady source. Um, I have to drive about 30 minutes to meet her on Tuesdays, or if I need some during uh, any other day of the week, I just take a 45 minute drive to her farm uh, a couple of towns over from me. So I usually get two, sometimes I get three gallons a week. And she charges $9 per gallon. She's went up a dollar, which I really don't care, you know. Usually what I'll do anyway is get me a $20 bill. She gives me two gallons. I just give her 20, you know, keep $2 in change. I know it's, uh, I know there's gotta be a lot of overhead taking care of those uh, dairy cattle and I don't care, you know. I'm just very appreciative uh, to have a steady source for the stuff. So I consume, as I said, about two gallons per week. Usually what I do is I will drink a quart about a couple of hours every night before I go to bed. I enjoy drinking it after I work out. You know, I do not take any supplements for lifting weights. I don't take creatine. I don't take, uh, I don't take anything. Just raw milk. I also drink tart cherry juice. I'll get to that in a minute. And uh, we've also, me and my wife, we've also gotten into juicing. Uh, we bought a juicer. We actually found one that was pretty high end, but we purchased it for $30 from a neighbor down the street. Uh, she had only used it once, and juicing is something that is well worth getting into. Produce your own juices. I mean, we've used sweet potatoes, apples, vegetables, uh, oranges, lime, kale, uh, avocado, whatever. You know, you can get crazy with it. Uh, I have to thank my friend Martin for encouraging me to explore that avenue. But I eat a lot too. You know, my diet, uh, I don't have a strict diet, to be honest. Um, I eat a lot of meat, a lot of dairy, but you know, I eat my fruits and vegetables too. And yes, I also eat carbs. I know there are some people who are opposed to eating carbs, but I'm not. I just eat what I want, you know. I've never had any trouble uh, being overweight in my life. I've always had a really high metabolism, and uh, it's always been very difficult for me to gain weight. Um, I'm a hillbilly. I guess that's, uh, I guess that's why. Um, but I am extremely impressed with the benefits that I have reaped by consuming raw milk. Some days I'll drink up to a half gallon. Like right now I have a surplus. I've got three gallons. Uh, I just broke into one of those three gallons a minute ago. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I've always had trouble gaining weight, putting on weight. When I tried that first gallon of raw milk last year, I believe my weight was around 170 pounds. Well, over these last 15 months, I weighed myself this morning and I weighed 184 pounds. This stuff has helped me gain weight. It has done an outstanding job in that regard. And I mean, it's not just fat, you know. I mean, I work out, of course. It's muscle. I know my wife, she jokes around. I'm here with my partner in crime, of course. But uh, she jokes around, you know. Right now, I might have, you know, as far as your abs go, I might have a five-pack, four-pack, five-pack. Uh... I don't really give a shit about shredded abs, you know. I just want to have a strong core. I do not care about being, you know, ripped or whatever. She jokes around with me and says that I'm going to end up with a dad bod uh, with as much weight, uh, let's see, what is that, roughly 14 pounds I've gained in the last 15 months. Um, 
<laughs> hey, you know, she jokes around with me about it, but I've also thought this. I was like, well, what if this, uh, what if this so-called dad bod that I see people talk about what if it is just a natural response that has been programmed into our evolution? You see, uh, think about it. Going back thousands of years ago, thousands of years ago, what if a new father, you know, started putting on some weight? Maybe his body knew that he needed to put on some weight because there could be tough times. There could be famine. There could be... They could have difficulty hunting. Um, what if his body started to retain more fat, you know, retain more weight as a means of, you know, a youngin, a child, a baby takes lots of nutrients. And he's got to be concerned, this new father's got to be concerned with uh, feeding his wife and his child. So maybe that's just a natural response, you know. I'm not saying go, you know, you have a child, you're going to blow up, you know, gain 40, 50 pounds. That ain't healthy, but I think a little bit of weight gain is natural. And as far as fertility goes, my daughter here, I'm 90% certain she was conceived the day after Valentine's Day last year, February 15th. I had been drinking raw milk for about a month. Now, I'm not saying that is the sole reason, but it really makes me wonder, you know. So, we, uh, I would highly encourage people to drink some raw milk. Um, my wife drinks it. Uh, that's why I got an extra gallon this week. And our daughter here, she is almost five months old. My wife has never had to use formula. My wife is a, I joke around with her, I'm like, you know, you're just the regular old milk truck here. <laughs> she, ha she has never had to have formula. My wife produces a ton of milk. We have lots saved. We have lots frozen. Uh, I think it's important for the child to be breastfed. Uh, especially later in life, you know, I think it gives them a sort of resilience to say, uh, you know, sicknesses and things of that nature. It's just natural. Um, but uh, let's see, is there anything else? You know, and as far as my weight gain goes, it's also been gains in strength. Um, my bench press, all these various uh, metrics, doing pull-ups, with a 45-pound uh, plate hanging between your legs. All of these things have went up for me the past year. I'm actually quite, uh, quite astonished with it. Um, my bench press had gained about 20 pounds, 25 roughly, from where it was in January of 2023. And uh, the, most, uh, the most impressive thing, though, is my lower body strength and my size and my legs. You know, I've always, like I mentioned earlier, I've always had, you know, I've always been skinny kinda. I always had chicken legs, you know? I was pretty fast, but, you know, it was hard for me to put muscle on my legs. That is not the case anymore in the least. My quads, hamstrings, calves, my thighs, my glutes, my ass, you know, I've put on a lot of muscle there. Hell, I know uh, my, my mother-in-law got me a pair of jeans uh, for Christmas uh, back in 2022. Not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. And back then, they were a little tight on me. Now, I, I tried to put those jeans on the other day. I couldn't get them over my upper legs. I've gained a ton of strength in my legs and muscle. And uh, what are you doing there? Want me to hush? Want me to hurry up? <laughs> I think she's teething right now, starting to. But um, she has, uh, where was I going with this? Um, yeah, back to my leg strength. The squat has went up. I know some people, I've heard some people say that leg press is like a meme exercise, but I can leg press a whole hell of a lot more than I could 15 months ago. It's really kind of astonishing to me. Um, 
Another thing too, tart cherry juice. I know I've shielded this stuff before. I get the R.W. Knudsen. Just tart cherry. That right there, I started drinking it about a year and a half ago. My friend Ricky Vadas encouraged me to try it out. I swear it helps you retain strength and gains if you take like a week or two off from lifting weights. Um, I stand by that. Um, it was like a, let's see, it was about six weeks ago. I took, I took almost a month off. I had a I had my shoulder was kind of nagging me, and I needed to get it, uh, needed to let it heal up. I drink about five, six ounces of this a day, not a big glass or anything. And I kid you not, when I went back to lifting after that uh, nearly month-long break, I had not lost any strength really. Now I'd lost a little bit of stamina. I had fallen out of rhythm a bit. But as far as just one rep strength or, uh, you know, I hadn't lost much at all. And in the past, when I was younger, I noticed if I went more than two weeks without going to the gym, I would notice it. I would be weaker. I would be a little bit weaker. But this stuff, uh, I know like high exertion athletes, like sprinters, they swear by this stuff. And I do too. So I would encourage you to just go to the store, supermarket, get you some R.W. Knudsen, just tart cherry. It's bitter, it tastes, it's really sour, but you learn to love it. But as far as the raw milk goes, yeah, I drink about a quart a day. Today I'll probably drink about a half gallon. I'm gonna finish this. Just had a breakfast earlier, and uh, I'll drink another half, uh, another quart tonight. Um, I'm going to put in the description box below. I've had some people ask me where you can find raw milk. Well, there is a uh, search engine. I think it's called GetRawMilk.com. I'll put a link to it in the box below. Um, I would encourage you to get some. It will improve your health. Um... Now, as far as people that may have, may gain weight easier than me, I would still get raw milk. You know, maybe just uh, maybe just do more exercises. You know, uh, watch what you eat. But I still, I swear by raw milk for everybody. I swear by it. It has done wonderful things for me. And you know, there's also the remaining fact. Let me read you a post real quick. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Um, it's on Telegram. I'll have to search. Give me just a moment. Um, let's see. Well, of course, I'm going to forget how to use Telegram. Um, Okay, now this is off of a 4chan post actually, and a channel, I forget, what, I just reposted it, but uh, they're talking about raw milk, and my friend Ratatosker, uh, the German man, he, uh, if I can remember, I'll put a link to his video as well, where he talks about this very subject, he goes more in depth with it, but uh, here we go. Consider for a moment that Nathaniel Rothschild sat in the English House of Lords for a lifetime position, and yet he only spoke to the chamber on two occasions. One of these occasions was to ask the Parliament to assist in the settling of 100,000 plus Jewish settlers into the then owned British Palestine. This makes sense. The Rothschilds, after all, were a leader of the Zionist movement in the early 20th century. The other speech, the only other one, Lord Rothschild gave, milk pasteurization. Now, why on earth would a man, part of a billionaire dynasty that practically single-handedly invented the
the Zionist movement care about milk pasteurization as much as he cares about moving Jewish settlers into Palestine? Why are these of equal importance? There really is no answer that makes sense until you accept that milk pasteurization is actually extremely harmful to humans and causes cardiovascular damage and destroys nutrients and proteins within the milk. So basically, you know, gaining strength, taking care of your health, that is a political act. Aesthetics is a political act. And to tell you the truth, to be 100% honest, if I hear the government or the system or the powers that be, if I hear that they don't want me to have something by God, I will do everything in my power to acquire that forbidden something. You know, sometimes anymore, sometimes anymore, I feel like I'm a borderline anarchist. Kind of interested in national anarchism. But anyways, that's a matter for a different video. You ready to go, baby? <laughs> Tired of me filming. I think she's about to take a nap. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.